Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey guys, this planet is weird. We came here to check it out and we lost the number one somewhere around here. We were supposed to be learning about fraction and division problems today, but we still need to find the number one before we leave. Do we really need to find the number one? I mean... Gig. I'm just saying. No, we need to find him. You guys jump into the fraction and division problems while we look for him. Today we're going to solve problems about fraction division. For example, what is 5 divided by 1 half? There's more than one way to solve this problem. Let's use a model and rephrase the question. The question starts with 5 and asks us to divide it by 1 half. We can rephrase the question to how many one-half pieces are in five? To answer this question, we need to cut each hole into halves. Now we need to count how many one-half pieces are in the entire model. There are ten one-half pieces in five. So five divided by one-half is ten. Let's try another problem. What is 3 divided by 4 fifths? We could draw a model to represent the problem, but let's try a different method. Start by writing the problem with the division symbol, 3 divided by 4 fifths. When we are asked to divide by a fraction, the rule of thumb is to multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction. A reciprocal is found when you flip the numerator and denominator. So our problem will go from 3 divided by 4 fifths to 3 times 5 fourths. And we can rewrite 3 as 3 over 1. We do this because if you remember, to multiply fractions, we multiply straight across the numerators and denominators. Okay, 3 times 5 is 15 and 1 times 4 is 4. So the answer is 15 fourths. Great job! Let's try this problem. What is 1 third divided by 3? Let's start by writing the problem using the division symbol. And using the rule from the last example, we will change the problem and multiply by the reciprocal of the second number. The reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. We rewrite the problem as one-third times one-third. Now we multiply straight across. One times one is one, and three times three is nine. So the answer is one-ninth. Well, we found him, but he keeps playing around with some of the local creatures. Hey guys, come on, help me out here. Hurry. He is fine. No worries. This is fun to watch anyway. Thanks for being with us today. Once the number one is done goofing off, we will go home. See you guys later. Bye. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.